Channel 10 is wielding the axe as it grapples with what it calls a parlous financial situation. Network executives told staff today 150 jobs would go and most of 10's national news bulletins would be scrapped along with its breakfast program, Wake Up. Ben Worsley reports. Wake up to something new on 10. With a new show comes fanfare and hope. It's an exciting day for Channel 10. What hopefully is going to be a pretty exciting ride. But the ride was bumpy. Wake Up's ratings never grew beyond 30,000. And after six months, it's over. Its axing was confirmed today, but there was much more. Three of the 10 network's four news programs will also go and its London and LA bureaus will shut. 150 jobs will be lost, including nearly half the news staff. It's a very sad day for a lot of very good people. Revenues are in the toilet uh, and ratings are less than auspicious. This is a struggling company. The struggles aren't anything new. Thank you very much for watching the last ever breakfast. All good things must come to an end. Look At 10, they have frequently. At last count, eight programs have been axed in three years. 6.30 with George Negus was on air for just 10 months in 2011. The same year the late news was cut before being resurrected. The circle went in 2012, soon to be followed by breakfast. If the first failure at first light wasn't enough of a wake-up call, they tried again. Now that's gone too. Along with the early news, morning news and 10's late news. So again, the question's asked about the network's future. With the share price this low and the media laws on ownership potentially changing later in the year, there's definitely some interest from overseas. Certainly, Voluntary certainly, redundancies uh, no are being offered at the center. network. Ben Worsley, ABC News.